Lakers. How would you describe your coaching career with the Lakers? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> you know, uh, they were in the lottery when I came and we won uh, 48, 53, 56, 61 in four years and had the youngest team in the in the playoffs. But you know how lucky you are to have to have uh, been associated with some of the biggest and the best names in the NBA. Totally blessed. Um, you know, <laughs> there's no way that I would ever have imagined anything like that. Uh, I was going to be a preacher when I graduated from college, and my uh, main professor told me two weeks before I was supposed to go to seminary that he thought I ought to work a year before I, I went to graduate school. And if I agreed, he had a job for me. It was coaching junior high basketball right near the, the, the college in, in, in Johnson City, Tennessee. And um, it just seemed to me that that's what I should do. And so I started coaching then in Indiana, where I'm from, for four years. And I set a goal to, to be a small college coach, which I, I happened to be able to get it at age 27 then. And that was my goal. And I never had another real goal. You were Kobe Bryant's first coach. And I'm just wondering what went through your mind when you found out you were going to coach this young man. And could you see early on the great player that he was going to be? Well, I think we saw that before we <laughs> traded Vladi to, to get him. You know, we had worked him out and, uh, you know, the reports on Kobe were all wonderful. We got him and unfortunately, uh, he was just 17 when we signed him, by the way. The unfortunate part was that he loved the play so much that he couldn't resist uh, going to a pickup game just before the preseason and he broke his hand, uh, wasn't able to even have a preseason game or practice. He was there and watched, but he didn't get into a game until December after the season had already started. But you knew Kobe was a diamond in the rough. Well, everybody knew it, Jim. You knew it. Uh, <laughs> Wes knew it. The fans knew it. And I'm really thankful for having been a Laker. Uh, there's something, I mean, I love coaching the Rockets and the Bucks and here the Dallas and I'm staying in Dallas. Nonetheless, uh, there's something special. If you coach the Lakers or I hate to say the bad word, but if you coach the Celtics, <laughs> uh, uh, it's just different. This is the first game that he hasn't started. Reeves was trying to get some of the 40 pounds that he came into camp with. In case you didn't hear at the beginning of the show. The always has been seven all-star games. Last year he only thrown in. Can't technical first point of the game. Tom, you see so Johnson hits the technical first point of the game. Tom, you see Eddie Johnson wearing that sleeve on his right. Had a heck of a quarter. You know the Lakers. The Lakers have scored seven field goals.